Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, circle with center O along with these uh, bunch of uh, chords uh, A, B, B, C, C, D, and uh, D, E. As you can see in this uh, diagram, and A, E is uh, the diameter of this uh, circle. And moreover, this uh, angle uh, O, A, B is uh, 66 uh, degrees. This angle uh, A, B, C is uh, 133 degrees. And this uh, angle uh, O, E, D is uh, 77 degrees. And furthermore, uh, this angle uh, B, C, D is represented by angle X. And now our task is uh, to find the value of this uh, angle X. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And in this video, I am going to share with you with two different approaches. So therefore, please watch the video till the very end. Before we proceed any further, let me go over the basic uh, concepts. And here's our very first step. Let's focus uh, on this uh, polygon. We can see this has uh, five uh, sides, one, two, three, four, and five. No wonder we call it uh, pentagon. And there are two types of pentagons. One is called a regular pentagon. It's all uh, side lengths uh, are uh, equal. Whereas the other type of pentagon is called uh, irregular pentagon, whose uh, side lengths are uh, not uh, same. So therefore, we are dealing with this uh, irregular pentagon. So therefore, our number of sides uh, of this uh, polygon equals to five. And now let me show you how to calculate uh, the interior angle sum. That means uh, sum of all uh, these uh, five uh, angles inside this uh, pentagon. And likewise, uh, sum of all uh, these uh, interior angles in a uh, irregular pentagon. And here's the formula for that one. Interior angle sum equals to n minus 2 times uh, 180 degrees where n uh, represents the number of uh, sides of the polygon. And in our case, uh, n equals to 5, since we are dealing with the pentagon. So therefore, uh, interior angle sum for this uh, pentagon is going to be, I'm going to replace n by 5 minus uh, 2 times uh, 180 degrees. So 5 minus 2 is going to give us 3 times uh, 100 and 80 degrees that is going to be equal to 540 degrees so therefore the interior angle sum for this uh, pentagon turns out to be 540 degrees and now let's revert our attention back to this uh, given uh, diagram and i am going to connect uh, this center o with these uh, vertices uh, b c d as you can see in this uh, next step i have connected uh, all uh, these uh, points and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, AO and this uh, OE are the radii of the very same circle likewise uh, this uh, OB, OC and uh, OD are the radii as well since they are the radii so they have the same length so this uh, length uh, equal to this length this equal to this length this equal to this one and finally equal to this one and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, a o b and we can see this is an isosceles uh, triangle since this side length uh, equal to this side length and since this is an isosceles triangle uh, so therefore this angle has got to be equal to this angle we know this angle is 66 degrees so therefore this angle has got to be 66 degrees as well and now let's make an observation we know that this angle is 66 degrees this whole angle is 133 degrees so therefore this remaining angle is going to be 133 degrees minus 66 degrees is going to give us 67 degrees and here's our next step let's focus on this another triangle boc and we can see that this is a an isosceles uh, triangle as well since this side length uh, equal to this uh, side length and since uh, this is an isosceles triangle if this angle is uh, 67 degrees so this angle has got to be 67 degrees as well 
And now let's focus on this uh, next uh, triangle COD and we can see that this is an isosceles triangle as well since this side length uh, equal to this side length. So therefore uh, this uh, angle is going to be equal to this uh, angle. Let me call this angle alpha then this angle is going to be angle alpha as well. And finally let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, EOD and we can see that this is an isosceles triangle as well since this side length equal to this uh, side length. So therefore uh, this angle has got to be equal to this uh, angle. This angle is 77 degrees so therefore this angle has got to be 77 degrees as well. And now let's go ahead and add all these interior angles 66 degrees plus this 66 degrees plus 67 degrees plus 67 degrees plus angle alpha plus angle alpha plus angle 77 degrees plus this angle 77 degrees as well. As you can see in this equation I have copied down all these interior angles as you can see. And let's combine these uh, like terms. If we add these uh, constant angles, uh, that is uh, going to give us uh, 420 degrees plus uh, 2 alpha. Now let's make an observation. We already figured out uh, the sum of interior angles in this uh, pentagon as 540 degrees. So therefore, I'm going to write down 540 degrees uh, on this uh, side. So thus our equation becomes uh, 540 degrees equal to 420 degrees plus uh, 2 alpha. Let's solve for alpha. Let's go ahead and subtract 420 from both sides. So this is gone. So therefore our uh, 2 alpha angle turns out to be 120 degrees. Let's divide both sides by 2. So therefore our angle alpha turns out to be 60 degrees. So therefore we can see that our this uh, angle alpha turns out to be 60 degrees. And here's our final step. Since we are interested in calculating this angle uh, x and this angle x equal to this uh, 67 degrees plus uh, this uh, 60 degrees. So therefore I can write uh, x uh, equal to 67 degrees plus uh, 60 degrees. So therefore our x uh, angle turns out to be 127 degrees. So thus our angle x turns out to be 127 degrees. And now let me show you the alternative approach to calculate uh, this angle x. And now let's focus on this uh, triangle AOB. And now let's recall uh, triangle sum theorem. The sum of three interior angles in a triangle is always 180 degrees. So therefore in this uh, triangle uh, AOB this angle has got to be 48 uh, degrees such that if we add all uh, these uh, three angles it must be equal to 180 degrees. And now let's focus on this uh, next triangle uh, BOC and we can see that this angle has got to be 46 uh, degrees such that uh, some of these uh, three angles are going to be equal to 180 degrees. And now let's focus on this uh, next uh, triangle uh, COD. We don't know this uh, angle. I'm going to call uh, this angle uh, beta. And finally let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, EOD and we can see that this angle has got to be 26 uh, degrees since the sum of these uh, three angle must be equal to 180 degrees. And now let's recall the straight angle uh, property. Let's focus on this uh, angle straight angle this whole angle is going to be 180 degrees and this is going to be equal to some of these individual angles 48 degrees 46 degrees angle beta and 26 degrees so therefore i can write 48 degrees plus 46 degrees plus angle beta plus 20 6 degrees uh, turns out to be equal to 180 degrees. Let's combine all these uh, angles on the left hand side. So that is going to give us uh, 120 degrees plus angle beta equals to 
180 degrees. Let's go ahead and subtract 120 degrees from both sides. This is uh, gone. So therefore our angle beta turns out to be 60 degrees. So therefore we can see that our this angle beta turns out to be 60 degrees. And we can see that this uh, COD triangle uh, is an isosceles uh, triangle. So therefore uh, this angle has got to be 60 degrees uh, and this got to be 60 degrees uh, as well. So therefore we can see that our angle uh, alpha turns out to be 60 degrees. And now let's go ahead and calculate this angle x and that is equal to the sum of these uh, two individual angles uh, 67 degrees. Uh, plus uh, 60 degrees. So therefore we can write uh, that this uh, angle uh, x uh, equal to 67 degrees uh, plus uh, 60 degrees. So therefore our angle uh, x uh, turns out to be 127 uh, degrees. So thus our angle uh, x turns out to be 127 degrees. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.